everyone. Sorry this is coming out a little bit late tonight. I had some work to do and family calls to make, but I'm here to give you some great activities for tomorrow or Thursday or Friday in the week based on our story earlier of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Um, so one activity I really like to do with this involves something that you probably all have around the house, a cookie sheet, or you can also just use your fridge. I drew a not so artistic chicka chicka boom boom tree but your kids are little they don't care how it looks and then i'm sure we also have some magnet letters around our house so you can put the magnet letters around and let your child do this or you can do this ahead of time just kind of let them explore with the different letters they can put them on take them off um, you can use other cards that have alphabet letters on them and have them pick a card like a game and then they have to find that letter on your chicka chicka boom boom tree and take it off or the uh, reverse of that would be that they pick a card and then they have to add that letter to the chicka chicka boom boom tree um, another activity you can do with this is having another piece of paper that has some specific letters drawn on it and they have to find that letter and take it off the tree and match it to this paper. Of course I didn't plan ahead enough to have any matching letters from my Chicka Chicka Boom Boom cookie sheet to my paper but I think we all get the point. Um, and if your child is starting to recognize the difference of upper and lower case this is a great sorting activity. Again taking the letters off this tree and then matching them to the correct, well look, I have one this time, the correct um, letter on this paper here. So they would match that to the, to the letter D there. And obviously you can do any kind of letters you want on this. Um, for our younger ones, if they wanna take the letters off and you can have them sort them by color, they're not identifying letters at this point. Um, my alphabet letters have a couple different shades on them, but they're still mostly one solid color, but you could draw circles with the different colors and they could have to take off all the red letters and put them in the red circle or all the blue letters and put them in the blue circle. It's a great sorting activity. And then from there, of course, there's different counting uh, things that you can do and talk about most and least equal, kind of like what we spoke about yesterday. Um, additionally, have a fun little snack recipe to go with this uh, and I can take a picture and put that up later in the comments under here but um, this is to create a chick chick boom boom tree and whenever we do recipes at school we like to create a visual so that the children can read and follow along it has numbers as well as picture so we need one banana three Nilla wafers, or you can also use grapes as well. Those are for the coconuts for the tree. And then four green apple slices. If you don't have green apples, you could use kiwi, um, or let's be honest, you could probably just use red apples because again, they're pretty easy to please with these kind of things at this age. Um, so you have them follow the recipe and make it themselves if they're a little bit older or you can make it with them if they're a little bit younger. Uh, and again, I will post a picture of that, or if you're interested, I can just email it to you. You can print it out. Um, so that's a fun little activity for snack time. Uh, also, I know that we might have a couple toilet paper rolls around our house soon. And these are, this is two just taped together and your child can create his or her own chicka chicka boom boom tree. So starting with the base, they can decorate it however they want. We're really into process art and creativity. If they wanna write some letters on there or maybe you have some letter stickers at home or another option would be that they can look through magazines again and cut out some letters from there, uh, glue them on or write them on however they wanna decorate it. You can either have some leaves drawn that they can, if they're working on scissor skills, work on cutting those out and then attaching them to their Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree, or you can let them draw their own and then attach them to their Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree. 
uh, if they're really into this, hopefully you have a lot of toilet paper rolls laying around. They can make a whole chicka chicka boom boom forest. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that for this evening. Oh, I forgot one. Also, for our younger friends, sensory bin with the magnet letters. Um, my sensory bin currently has bugs in it because that's just what we're into these days. Um, not real bugs, plastic bugs, I promise. Um, but you can put some of the letters in here and let your child explore different items to put in sensory bins, um, cotton balls. You can do rice, although I'm not sure that anyone wants to use any food products right now because you probably want to keep that for yourselves. Um, pom-poms, uh, you can do water. Your kids love to play in the water, I promise you. So if you have a big Tupperware, put it down on the kitchen floor with a towel underneath. Throw some alphabet letters in there, some measuring scoops. It's a great way for them to explore concepts like full and empty. Um, so this is a great option, especially for those little ones. They can scoop out the letters. You could also go a little above and beyond if you wanted to, if you're using magnet letters, and um, create a fishing rod. A uh, way to do this, let's see, you could, maybe you happen to have a drumstick around or a wooden dowel rod or um, something like that, but you can attach a piece of yarn to it with another magnet on the end and you might be able to create a fishing game out of that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these activities tonight. Uh, everybody stay healthy and we'll see you soon.